Francis Cardio. Francis Bacon once said, silence is the sleep that nourishes wisdom. But unfortunately for Frankie B, it's 2024 and wisdom doesn't pay the bills. <laughs> it's time for the talk show portion. <laughs> Uh, Reggie, what is your nuanced take on modern dating? I think first dates should only consist of finger foods. Oh. Yeah, everybody use their hands. Uh, I think you can tell a lot from a finger food date, you know? <laughs> if she's grabbing her napkin, she's cleaning her hands, she's sanitizing, she's not that fun. <laughs> but if she's, you know, eating, and then she goes full, <laughs> She's a uh, <laughs> I want to say sorry for that inappropriate joke, Honestly? but I stand by it. That was so skillfully done, because it was dirty, but I do think it's going to get past the censors. Yeah. That All was right. good. That was it. My hands weren't clean. I, I fully committed and put them in my mouth, so. <laughs> 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 she raised a chivalrous man, Mrs. Reggie Conquest. <laughs> <laughs> my, mom, my mom's first name is Reggie? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got on the beanie. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get that from? When did that happen? <laughs> I didn't see that. When did you get I've, that? I've been wearing this the whole time. <laughs> Pay attention. That's what allyship looks like. <laughs> We look like a nerd, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I don't want to wear my hat anymore. <laughs> oh. I'm joking, I don't have a hair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jordan, oh. you're next. Um, yeah. In a totally natural way. <laughs> Jordan, solid, liquid, or gas? Which is the best? <laughs> gas, because if you don't let it out, you die. <laughs> That's true. That's true. You dirty bitch. <laughs> You gassy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. I was talking about a planet when I said that. Because <laughs> gas, uh, y'all slow. I don't, <laughs> don't mind a good fart on a date. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. It's not, it's like, oh, she's human. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, your date would have gas because she's only eating mozzarella sticks. <laughs> All right, Paul, try to make this question dirty. I dare you. Uh, top three pasta shapes, go. Oh. <laughs> I probably answer this question three times a day. Uh, obviously, Rotelle, the wagon wheels, love them. You <laughs> <laughs> is the bi biggest reaction of the night. You, I gotta have my rigs, rigatoni. <laughs> and then there's a third shape of pasta that Ah, oh, I can't think of the name. It's like a type of neckwear. Ah. <laughs> pasta that's like a shape like neckwear. <laughs> come back to me, come back to me. Everybody Google it. All right, well, that's it for the talk show portion. <laughs> yeah. Say it with me, panelists. We are relatable. We are relatable. Thank you, Reggie. Points for you. Only one who oh. did it. Yeah! We are... We are likable. We are, are likable. Yep. The projects we are plugging are excellent. The projects we are plugging are excellent. I lived in the... Great yeah. job. All right. As a show business insider like myself, you learn a lot of dark secrets. For example, did you know SpongeBob has a DUI? Yeah. It's true, much like comedians, cartoon characters can seem happy-go-lucky, but oftentimes it's a mask for a deep inner darkness, <laughs> right? Yeah, we're all comedians, you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Can I, can I say it's, it's kind of horrifying, the idea that SpongeBob is four feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you saw that in life, you'd be terrified. Oh, that is actually... Very short. That's why he lives in a pineapple, he's always mixing something with it. <laughs> <laughs> I should get points for that riff. <laughs> this picture of SpongeBob <laughs> is Sponge the inspiration Bob. for our next game, Dark Secrets of Cartoon Characters. <laughs> 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 Panelists, I'm 
going to ask each of you a hard-hitting question about the secret life of a beloved cartoon character, and I'll award 200 points if I'm satisfied with your answer. First up, Paul, yours is... Bugs Bunny. <laughs> yep, he's always asking, what's up, Doc? So, what did the doctor tell him? Well, Bugs, it's a uh, good news, bad news situation. <laughs> good news, it's not rabbit season or duck season. The bad news is it's pancreatic cancer season. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie, your character who's hiding the darkness is the fairly odd parent. Ah. What is going on in that marriage, Reggie? Man, love the fairly odd parents, but I'm going my Paul. Um, <laughs> You don't really know where those magic wands have been. Oh. That's a dirty couple right there. I actually heard they were Polly, but nobody cared. <laughs> that sucks. You put it out there, people were like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> what are they doing for Timmy? <laughs> <laughs> Jordan, finally, it looks like your character is Clippy. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I haven't seen Clippy in a while. What happened to Clippy? He met a nice stack of lady papers. Oh. And let's just say she thick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Them papers thick? <laughs> that man stretched out. <laughs> uh, finally. <laughs> Finally, anyone can buzz in for this one. It's Goofy. Panelists, what happened to Goofy's wife? Excuse me? <laughs> sure, Jordan. I came here to win. <laughs> oh, okay. First of all, she has a name. It's Mrs. Goofy's wife. <laughs> She's a whole person, okay? And second, Mickey. <laughs> oh, God. Had her assassinated for barking out of turn. <laughs> I didn't even know Goofy had a wife. I guess that explains why he would never sleep over. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I think uh, that deserves some points. That was great. It was a buzzer. No, no. <laughs> he can't. He can't, everybody. Uh, there are oh, rules. Oh, oh sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna Hi. get fired. I'm gonna get fired. <laughs> Excellent work, everyone. Reggie is in the lead with 1,900 points. Yeah!